We're live. Good morning. Would all sergeants please start their recordings? BC recording rolling. Recording to the cloud, all set. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Lugo, would your opening statement, please? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote of the Committee on Hospitals. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Rivera, we are ready to begin. Good morning, everyone. I am Council Member Carlina Rivera, Chair of the City Council Committee on Hospitals. Thank you all for being here today. Today, we're voting on Resolution 512A, sponsored by Council Member Helen Rosenthal, which calls on New York State to require medical schools to train all students about implicit bias. Implicit bias is when individuals have attitudes towards people or associate stereotypes with them without conscious knowledge. And research has so shown that people have implicit attitudes regarding race, gender, age, disability, weight, and sexual orientation. Several general patterns of bias have repeatedly been shown in research, such as socially dominant groups often having implicit bias against traditionally marginalized groups. According to Health Affairs, studies consistently recognize the role of implicit bias in worsening health conditions, increasing healthcare costs and exacerbating health disparities, resulting in disparate maternal health outcomes, substandard pain management for black patients, unequal cardiovascular testing for women, lesser mental health services for patients with mental illness and mistreatment and avoidance of obese patients. The Committee on Hospitals has touched upon implicit bias and other topics related to health equity frequently. And we've seen how care that is not culturally humble and competent can cause inequitable health outcomes for people of color, people with disabilities, people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, intersex, transgender, queer, questioning, gender non-conforming and or non-binary, LGBTQ+, TGNCENBY, children, individuals who are overweight, those experiencing behavioral health issues and those who are female. We must ensure we are doing all we can as a city to eradicate longstanding institutional racism, ableism and other forms of oppression, including oppression perpetuated by our own healthcare system. It makes no sense that implicit bias training is inconsistent among medical schools. Every single doctor should understand structural racism and other forms of oppression in the medical field, and each should actively engage in activities to promote reflection on their own implicit biases. As we continue to watch the inequitable impacts of COVID on communities, no one can deny this reality many of us have known for so long and implementing across the board meaningful implicit bias training is one important step to address our inequitable healthcare system. I very much look forward to voting on this legislation today and would again like to thank my colleagues for being here. I also wanna thank the staff of the Hospitals Committee, Council Harbani Ahuja, Policy Analyst Emily Volkin, Finance Analyst John Chang, and Data Analyst Rachel Alexandrov for all of their work. I'm going to check if Council Member Rosenthal is here. I know she was um, running a press conference. I'm not sure if she's wrapped that up. Okay. I guess I'll turn it over to Council. Thank you, Chair. I'm gonna turn it over to the clerk. Good morning, everyone. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on hospitals. Proposed resolution 512A, Chair Rivera. I probably vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Thank you. Levine. I vote aye, thank you. Mizell. Yes. Moyas. Monica Alba, uh, again, my apologies for interrupting you there to go to the speaker. Uh, what, what would you say? Councilmember Moya. I vote aye. Thank you. One moment. He has personal. 
personal and friendly relationships with somebody. Okay, by a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the resolution has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. And with that, I hereby adjourn the Committee on Hospitals. Thank you.